Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kom Yasha Allah, Koholoyimla, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rekha Dash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to take the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying, to, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. They wanted to touch on the subject of training. So um, let me grab this quick scripture real quick. First off, let's get, uh, this was the one that I was, you know, uh, by the Spirit came about. Because I was just kind of meditating on it today. And this is Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. In the New Living Translation over here, it says, direct your child direct your children onto the right path and when they are older they will not leave it that's a that's a good translation because when you die you know directing somebody you know you're you know you're basically giving them directive like you know you go this way but i wanted to touch on this because you know i was kind of meditating on the fact that esau edom the so-called white man he trained the so-called blacks Hispanics, Native Americans, so to speak, you know, into being the perfect servant for them. And we've carried that on for generation to generation to generation. Our people still to this very day, they're in um, servitude mode when it comes to um, Esau, Edom. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're kind of losing it. But, but because what's happening is there's a retraining that's going on with this truth. See, so let's get the definition of train. Matter of fact, let me. Um, I, the verb portion of it, right? Let's see what it says. It says to teach someone how to do something, usually a skill that is needed for a job. We are training all our staff in how to use the new computer system. Okay, that's an example. The aid workers train local people to give the injections. More examples. Okay, so they have multiple examples on that. And um, like I, you know, I was like I said again, I was meditating on it today. You know, it's like when you are training for a new job, you go in, you you pretty much you get, say, for instance, um, a company starts, right? The big people come in. You got the big boss. You know, it's his vision. It's his company. He shows you exactly how he wants his business to be ran from cashier to whatever. You know, let's just say it's a restaurant. It could be a, a, a damn franchise McDonald's or something. You know, he trains a manager, you know, on, you know, how to keep the books, how to do the drops, you know, um, how to, you know, whatever, the cash register, the, you know, the receipt, pay, whatever the case may be. You know, a lot of things are digital now, you know, so if that person trains them well enough, which he would want to because it's his company. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't want no mistakes. He doesn't want no machinery torn up. He doesn't want to be coming out of pocket for anything that, you know, other than, you know, regular expenses. You know what I'm saying? He would train them on, you know, that's why they'll have like a training manual um, showing the company policy, you know, so they basically won't be sued. They'll train, you know, that manager or whatever to say, hey, you know, you, you, you know, you go over these training policies with every employee that ever comes in here so to speak and you know they have to sign the book and say that okay i read over that i understand it you know what i'm saying and here's my signature and then you know that keeps them from you know like i said lawsuits and you know things of that nature um and then it goes on you know with you know they train how they want the floors mop train how they you know they want you know maybe you know how to Rotate things in the freezer, you know, train on how to deal with your customers, you know. So once that 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 person that owns that company comes in, he may come in whatever amount of times. And then he has his manager on, on point. That manager from that point trains. And then as the people that's coming in to work, they actually learn the job. They actually become trainers themselves. Sometimes you'll have a, 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 a crew trainers or whatever. You know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of these restaurants, they'll get over by having you train somebody and won't even, you know, pay you to train them. <laughs> Sometimes they'll have you train somebody to remove your ass. You get what I'm saying, though. 
but that training is ongoing. So once that big man comes in, he gives you the blueprint. He's gone. He's just, you know, he might go on to his next. He may, if he's opening up another one, depends on, you know, he may open up another one next year or whatever the case may be. But he's elsewhere handling other business because he's setting on the blueprint. You know, as to, you know, this manager knows what to do. Now the people that's coming in, they're going to train and they're going to train. And if that manager happens to just so happen to leave, there's a person there that has, you know, taken on what the manager taught them and they're the next in line. You know, and they'll take over and then, you know, the it, the process goes on and on and on and on and on. So, you, you know, that company could run through 30, 40 managers after being a family business for 30, 40 years. And it's still the same process, so to speak, other than, you know, um, upgrades on um, equipment or whatever the case may be, you know. So this is the way that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, has done us. You know, he has trained us. From generation to generation to generation to generation, and especially them old them old days when that whippings went down and them them um I mean that that man put the fear of, of God in us <laughs> with them whippings and them um them castrations them them rapings them you know just his whole demeanor and his whole get now that bow your head that servitude and see to this very day our people still love the uh the so called white man you know. Love me with a passion, man. They'll fight you over um, Esau when it comes to being out. You know, when the brothers are out on the highways and byways, you see um, so-called blacks all the time. But what about the white man? They don't ask you about what about the so-called Chinese or Japanese or any other race of people. When it comes to the scriptures, you get to talking to them about, hey, well, the Lord loves you. You're a special people to him. They're going to ask you, well, what about the so-called white man? Can he be saved? They're going to they gonna, they gonna look out for Massa, you know? So he has trained us basically to be perfect slaves, right? And it goes on with his curriculum. You know, of course, you know, we're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. So we have to send our children to his schools, you know, to be indoctrinated, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to go to work, you know? And in a lot of places, if you don't send your children to their schools, you know, you can go to jail. <laughs> you know, there it's rare that um, so-called blacks... Hispanics and Native Americans are homeschooling the children. You know, our people are not homeschooling the children like that. They, you know, and a lot of our people don't even want to deal with their own children like that. You know, when COVID-19 went down and, 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 and these, these parents was at the house with their children, man, for them couple of, you know, whatever amount of time it was, man, they was fucking about to go crazy. They couldn't wait until that shit. You know, that's the reason why all of them went and, you know, and, and, and done that thing. They went and rolled them sleeves up as fast as they could, you know, and because and, and they wanted to get them kids back into their daycares and their schools and so that they can go back to work, so to speak, you know. But the training portion of it is Esau, he understands how to train our children to basically not be no more than, you know, just a, a good slave. <laughs> I mean, it just is what it is, you know, because it, even with today's um get down, say, for instance, you know, you got the children, you're into this rap music, they're into this music, you know what I'm saying? He has actually trained, he, he has put a couple of trainers out there. Say, for instance, you you know, you got like a Cardi B or, you know, you got your Ice Spice, you got your dude, whoever, you know what I'm saying? These women are, are basically the teacher's, that Esau want to train your girls or your your young ladies, and and what are what are they training them? They're training them to be, you know, most definitely not housewives. You know, they're training them to be above the man, to be sassy, to be out here, to be you know, um, sexualized, so to speak. That's his mo. He does that. He does it through his TV. You know, so he's training our children. Then, you know, on the other side, flip side, you got, you know, the male rappers. You know what I'm saying? That's training our kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, this, this gun is this. You know, you need this this clip with it. You need this, you know, whatever, whatever. And it's all negative shit. So he's teaching our people. He's training our people to destroy each other. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, too, you know, uh, worship him. So to speak, why do you think he gave you so-called white Jesus? He gave our people so-called white Jesus because I was training on us looking at his image as if he's a God. Looking at the image of the so-called white race as if they're gods. Now, 
let's go into this real quick. Let's get this um Ephesians six and four. And it reads, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Now, why doesn't this so-called white man do, do that? He doesn't bring our children up in the admonition of the Lord. Now, he gave you white Jesus, you know what I'm saying, which is a damn idol, <laughs> you know. But but he should, you know, if he was so Christian-like, why would he have our people worshiping a false god or a false image? Because the scriptures clearly describes our Lord as being a dark, melanated man. So why would he, he you know, push white Jesus on us first off? You know, why wouldn't he teach that, you know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to eat shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, these things. So our children would know from an early age, look, that's a part of your dietary law. You don't eat those particular things because it's bad for your health. Why doesn't he teach that, you know, um, you know, um, honor your mother and your father? Why doesn't he, you know, he, you know, and, and also too, <clears throat> now he put the rod on us. Think about that. Think about how he put the rod on us to learn his ways. That training, with that training came a lot of ass whoopings. With that training became a lot of te um, a lot of terror, right? But now when it came down to the scriptures, we're supposed to, you know, spare not the rod on our own children to, to have them, you know, we're supposed to train that, them, 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 them whoopings, so to speak, or them, you know, that discipline, so to speak, that training. That was supposed to be with the learning of the scriptures, man. You know? Proverbs 13 and 25, it says, He that spared the rod hated his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be time. So you chasten him as soon as he, he's done something. And it may be a talk. It may be, you might even yell at him, you know, whatever the case may be. You, you know, but you do want to kind of, you know, you want to put the fear of God in him. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know, it's plenty of scriptures that talks about, you, you know, you sparing that rod will destroy a child. There's no way around it because they have to have that discipline and that training. And because that scripture says that train up a child on the way he should go and he won't forget it when he's older. He's going to raise his children. You see what I'm saying? To do the exact same thing. And then it's an ongoing process. Generation to generation, an ongoing process, generation to generation, an ongoing process. But what did Esau do? He beat that shit into our people, and now it's an ongoing process of us being um, destroyed, an ongoing process of us basically worshiping this man, an ongoing process of us looking at ourselves like we're not shit, but he's everything. You see what I'm saying? He trained he trained our people like that. He trained us that way as a people. You see what I'm saying? So, let me see what... Uh... <laughs> There's a precept to this. Let me give that precept. Um, there's plenty of precepts on this training, you know, as far as like um, sparing out the rod, man. But like I said, what did, what did Esau do? He 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 made it against the law. If you were to, you know, spank your child or, you you know, you, God forbid you put a belt to him these days. Oh, man, they'll come and take your, your children. But what does the scripture say to do? So he comes in this holy type of way and you know he you know that's why the scripture says never trust thine enemy you know because he'll come through humbling himself you know what i'm saying and, and go crouching but he he's he's ready to take your seat man you see because if if, if the, the parents were able to, to whoop their kids ass <laughs> they wouldn't have a lot of this shit that's going on out here wouldn't be going on that see this man he's about chaos See, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. He's about chaos. And the way that he pushes chaos through the world is mainly through Jake and mainly through the so-called black people, you know, because he understands how influential we are. He understands that we're the salt of the earth, man. So you have to you have to watch Esau, man. I was just thinking about that today. Like this man is he has trained us into being the perfect doofy ass slave, man, that don't care about our own people. Care about every fucking body except for ourselves. And he done a lot of that with, um, you know, discord. And actually, the scripture talks about discord. You're not supposed to sort um, discord among brethren. You're not supposed to put a brother against his brother. 
But what does the so-called white man do? He put the mom against the dad. He put the parents against the children. He puts the, you know what I'm saying? He he puts the, the you know, the lighter skinned brother against the darker skinned brother. You know, he, 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 done, he done put all 12 tribes against each other. Let me see here. Uh... Uh, Proverbs 23 and 13 and 14, it says, Withhold not correction from the child, which that goes into training. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell. So, you know, hey, uh, that that can be done on the, on the left-hand side or that could be done on the right-hand side. And Esau, he pulled that scripture off, but he done it to make us worship him. Not the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? He, he 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 wasn't following the the rules, you know what I'm saying? That he was he was pushing on, you know that he was pushing on us. He was using the Bible, but he was using it in a way where it you know it it didn't coincide with Scripture. It's like I said again, you know, if you truly love your your children, you're gonna get you gonna you know <laughs> you're gonna do what needs to be done, you know, with them, you know what I'm saying, to keep them from going to Esau Edom's goddamn jail cell because he's looking for slaves. He's looking for that physical slave again. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go to jail, what you think you're gonna be doing there? You're gonna be you're gonna be making something for Esau. You're gonna be doing something for this man. One of those companies out there, you know, because there's a lot of companies that hire prison help, and it's for hell. You know, they may give you six, seven cent a day, some crazy shit. You know, but you're not making no money, man. They using you as a complete damn slave, and mainly, you know, that's Jake, man. But, you know, he 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 definitely used us as a complete slave, man. But let's get this Deuteronomy um, 6 and 7. Um, start at verse 6. It says, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, see, and shalt talk of them with thou, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. No, oh, you can barely do that now because, shit, you barely get time with your children. He's he's raising your children. He's training your children in the way that they should go when they get older. He's training your, 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 your children, man. You know? By the time you get home, man, you tired. You done had such a fucked up day to the point where, you know, you, you, know, you, either, you either take it out on the kids well, you don't want to be bothered at all, you know. You don't even have time enough to even give them a, a good nutritional meal. It's all damn pop some in the microwave or go to a damn drive through. See, you, you can't even this man to destroy us completely by his training, and it's actually falling back and backfiring on his own people. You know what I'm saying? Because this place is chaos, man. <laughs> he saw this shit is chaos. It says in, in verse 8, And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gate. So it, this should be a continuous thing. This should be ongoing. You know what I'm saying? Us learning the scriptures and meditating on the scriptures and constantly talking with our people about the scriptures, man, our children. You know? And just think that. Just, just think about one block. Say the block that you live on. All the children on your block. They all are learning this same process. They're learning the dietary laws of the scriptures, right? You know? They're going to be a lot healthier. They're, they're, they're learning to, to respect their mothers and their fathers. That means that next door or down the street or down the street or down, you know, a little further down, they're going to all respect an adult anyway. You know, because they're, they're going to be seen as mother and father figures. That mother or that father down the street could actually say to your child, because we're a community as, as a whole, we're a family as a whole, which it used to be that way. Now it's like, you know, man, you don't even speak to the people across the street from you. You don't know the people next door to you. You know, I remember when I was growing up, man, the people down the street could beat your ass and, they'll, you know, and, and, and tell your mom and them because they knew your mom and them. Now, these days, you know what I'm saying? Grandmama can't even talk to the fucking child, like, and tell them nothing other than without, without the mama going fucking crazy on her mama. That's my baby. I'm going to raise I'm going to raise him the way I want to raise him. But the grandma, your mom, she's trying to, you know, 
that's just the way that it is these days, man. And Esau has created that that whole drama, man. He has trained he has trained our women to be the way that they are. This whole result of the way that you see the so-called blacks get down, and I'm just saying them in general, but just in general, the so-called blacks in pretty much the world now, because I mean, you know, he has all these nations have drunk under that wine, man, or Esau eat them, the so-called white man, especially the American wine. You know, Babylon the Great. Everybody is trying to be like this place. And and a lot of the reason why a lot of those Eastern countries, you know, don't want to be like America or they don't want America's democracy because they understand that that shit is going to train our women to be whores. It's going to train our children to be dope heads, drug heads. They're going to be disrespectful to us. It's going to be crime ridden. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, again, Esau, he trained us to be the perfect animals, so to speak, man. And, you know, I mean, you know, I, you know, also, you know, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because he told us, hey, do what I tell you to do. And that's what we got out of hand. See, that's where the training comes in. At. That's why it tells you. That's why it says to repeat this. You you have to be talking about this all day long because and, and when you realize it. A lot of stuff in the scriptures is being repeated, especially the first five books. A lot of that stuff is being repeated over and over and over and over and over and over again. You're like, damn, well, it just said that back there in that chapter or the verse before or, you know, um, you know, the book before. But the Lord is treating us like children because it's ongoing. You can't. This is not something that, OK, I tell you one time and, and, and you're just going to get it. You know, what I'm saying? it's like children. You know, with children, you have to keep on training them. You have to keep on telling them, keep on training them, keep on telling them. You don't just tell them, you know, once and then you just expect them to just get that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep on telling them what I tell you. What did I tell you? Then I tell you to stay away from that. Then I tell you to not do that. Then I tell you to not do that. Sometimes it take a popping, you know, you pop them on the damn hands, you know, <laughs> you know, sometimes it take an ass whooping for real. But this is what Esau don't want. He don't want you to train your child in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because he understands that if you do, he can't do nothing with you. He makes money off us being um, sin, um, in, in sin, man. He's trained us to give us everything that we have from, from, from body, mind, soul to our finances. Everything that we do, he has trained us to absolutely serve him. See? So, you you know, I just wanted to just touch on that for a hot sec, man. I didn't want to keep it too long. But, you know, it was just something that I was meditating on today. Esau has trained us into being the perfect servant, man. And, and now we're being retrained. Why? Because it, we're under new management. Think about new under something being under new management. You know? Why do you think people put up new management signs when they, when they buy a business from somebody else? Because they want people to understand that, hey, look. I already know why this nigga business fell. You know, I'm going to put new management up there because I want new. I want those customers that keep passing by the place that, you know, used to come, but they don't come no more because it's, it was bad management before. You know, I'm going to put up the new management sign. So now maybe they'll stop back in and, and, and you know, they're going to see, OK, this is a fresh crew. The place has been remodeled. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the, the, the employees have respect for the, uh, you know, the customer. They had a great experience, you know what I'm saying, when they come through. And they're they going to tell people. Man, I had a super duper time, man. You remember that, man, you know? Because there's certain places I don't go right now, you know what I'm saying? Because, it, it, you know, it, it's it, trash. I've had a, either a trashy experience or I know the food is horrible every time I've been. You know, because a person may say, if, you know, I'm using this example of a restaurant. Because a person may go to a restaurant. Okay, and you may say, all right, well, damn, all right. That, you know, that wasn't up to my liking. But if you keep coming back and it's like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? Every time I come here, the food is, you know, the shit is cold or it's not fresh. It's not, you know, they just don't care. You know, you're going to stop going. It's a, it's a whole bunch of businesses like that I stop venturing into. You know, like, oh, nah, you can't get no more of my money. I've actually called hotlines on certain places. You know how you get that, that 800 number? Man, I need to call the manager. And you know when you, you call in the 800 number and they're not doing nothing about it. <laughs> but like I said, when that new management comes in, which, you know, that's an example of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're under new management. That we have a new manager when you come into this truth. Now we know, okay, well, no, this is the proper training right here. 
This right here help us to be successful. You know, this right here is how you run a business. This is how you run um, your life, your household, your, your, you know, dealing with your children, dealing with your spouse, dealing with your parents, just dealing with um, people in general, dealing with, you know, how to eat and how to, you know, move about in this world, dealing with how to um, push through and fight through, you know what I'm saying, with the scriptures, as opposed to, you know, Esau shit, you know, his world, he'll tell you, oh, man, well, you ain't going to make it give up. You see, so now we're under this new management, man, it's a, and it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, we're, we're fighting, you know, for our crowns, you know, to, but, I mean, I can't say, I can definitely say that coming into this truth, man, and being retrained and, and constantly going through training, you know what I'm saying, in this new management, so to speak, man, everything is, you know, it's beautiful, man. I'm not saying it is easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not easy, but having understanding as to why it's the way that it is, is it makes it easy. You know, so I just wanted to touch on that, man. I hope I didn't lose anybody. I pray that the lesson was edifying. You know, it's high time to awake out of sleep and to come under this new management, man. Get out of the, the shit that Esau is into because when you, matter of fact, that's, let me get this real quick. We bring the scripture out all the time, Micah 2 and 10. <laughs> And it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. The Lord is saying, Come out of this way of training. Come the, the way that you were trained before, come out of that way. Because it, it has polluted you, you know, with a sword destruction. Our people are sorely destroyed and polluted because of the way that they've been trained. See, our people have been trained to go to the supermarket, spend hundreds of dollars. To put together a, a turkey dinner or a damn ham dinner for this Thanksgiving, and 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 you know if they were if they had this new training under this new management, they would know hey don't do that, and they'll save a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch of time, a whole bunch of damn stress, a whole bunch of headaches, because of the, you know the training that we're under says that okay um the the uh the customs of the people are vain. Don't do that. The Lord doesn't like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you can get your ass whooped for that and a, and a severe ass whooping at that. That's that. You know what I'm saying? Running out into the road. You know what I'm saying? You know, without looking, you know, the cars is screeching on the damn tires. And, and you know, the parents are like, you know, that's when you know you're going to get your ass whooped. I told you to keep, you know, stop running out in that street. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this place has sorely destroyed us. So that you have to come from underneath the, that training of the old management, the old manager, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man and his way of damn thinking. Because see, these other countries, now they starting to say, like, hey, look, man, we got to get the fuck away from this man. You know, it's, but it's too late. They done drunk of that wine. They done got drunk. They done slept with this whore. <laughs> you know, and these countries is looking like, man, oh, we done fucked up, you know, but it's too late. But the Lord has given us an opportunity to step away from this place, man, and, and, and come, you know, with that new training, man, comes comes a lot of benefits. The scriptures talks about how the Lord, he loaded, loaded you with benefits daily. That comes with a lot of benefits, man. It comes with a lot less heartache. It comes with, you know, I mean, say it's it's an, it's innumerable, man, really, the, the, the uh, benefits that you get from coming into this new training, this new, under this new management of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, I just was using that illustration of maybe some restaurants or a business or something like that. But, hey, when these so-called white people, if you go, hey, you you go to one of these so-called white people's hookups, they they going to train you. They're going to put you in the uniform they want you to be in. <laughs> you got to wear their uniform. You know what I'm saying? They're going to want you to look neat. Hell, hell, even Esau, Esau have you, you know, you, you, you can't even work. You know, you can't even come into his shit unless you shave. In certain situations, man. He's training you to be clean faced. But what does our father train us to do? You no, know, you're supposed to have a beard, bro. That's a that's a law. You see? This man is training you to, you know, to, to speak the way that he speaks. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with speaking like you got some damn sense. But Esau, man, he, you know, our people, man, they go full fledged hard to sound like Esau. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you know, you can't just be, you know, your yourself, so to speak. You know, this man, hey, he he has trained the entire world to, to basically self-destruct. That's pretty much overall what he has done. 
and our people are are number ones in that in that in that um category, man. I gotta say it. I mean, we fucked up, man. So come out of this place, man. So you know, I just wanted to just touch on that, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Shola.